And Vancouver children got a second chance to celebrate Halloween today after their trick-or-treating at the Vancouver Mall suddenly ended when a gunman shot and killed a man and injured two other adults. I'm Lisa Balick and this is The 10. Vancouver police made the arrest at a residence near East Ridge Drive and Southeast 18th Circle in Vancouver last night. Travis L. Ward facing murder and assault charges. Today, Vancouver police tell us he is 32 years old, not 22 as they stated yesterday. He's due to make a court appearance tomorrow. Tonight, some of the kids whose Halloween celebrations were stopped short by the shooting got a chance to redo their Halloween, our Ariel Salk reports. <laughs> Hundreds of trick-or-treaters getting their candy at the trunk or treat event at the Vancouver Plaza as a do-over since kids were trick-or-treating at the Vancouver Mall when a masked shooter terrorized families, killing one man and injuring two others. following day, I saw that there were a lot of people, a lot of families that were saying, I really wish I could give my kids a do-over. I wish we had another second chance at Halloween because they were so sad. And so for us, um, community healing after an event like that is important. When Tara Crest heard about the tragedy, she knew she wanted to give the kids a bit of magic. It felt very close to home. I know you said it felt close to home too, yeah? With tears in her eyes, she tells Coin6 she was on her way to the mall with her kids before the shooting. We were headed that way. Not really headed that way, but I had clear intention at that point to take my kiddos and didn't. So we, we made a different choice. And... My heart goes out to everybody who was there and experienced it. Her daughter wanting to help, remembering her own trauma with a shooter. When I was my sister's age, eight, I had been at school after hours and there was a shooting in the parking lot. And I was so scared and I didn't know how to feel about it. But now, here all these kids get a do-over and they get to feel better because life needs more Happy feelings. For Lisa Packard, she has a personal connection. One of my parents, because I'm a teacher, contacted me and told me her son was at the food court when it happened and was very traumatized. She knew she wanted to open up her trunk for him and for the other kids. From what I heard, he didn't sleep very well that night. I think he's still processing it. Um, so I think probably he's going to continue processing it for the rest of his life. And it wasn't just candy for the kids to enjoy, some animals as well. Figured just as soon as they see him, like him sticking his head out the window, like you can't help but to smile at that. So it'll just brighten up the mood of everybody. Again, that was our Ariel Salk reporting.